A warm greeting. Today is Tuesday, October 17, 2023. I am meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on Invest 94, which continues to show signs of cyclonic organization and is anticipated to become a tropical depression over the next two to three days. It is important for those in the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico to be very attentive to the development of this disturbance because it could pass very close to or over the northeast Caribbean region during the weekend. After several days of limited cyclonic organization, we have observed that Invest 94 leaders has shown signs of cyclonic organization in the last 24 hours. The area of thunderstorm coverage has increased near the center of circulation, indicating that this disturbance is in the process of becoming a tropical depression. For this reason, at 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the development probabilities to 70% over the next 48 hours and 80% over the next 7 days as it initially moves westward and then with a more northwesterly component. As you can see, the potential cyclonic development area includes the Lesser Antilles. It is crucial for residents of the central and northern Lesser Antilles to closely monitor the future tropical storm Tammy. Although we have a better consensus today regarding the track, there is still some dispersion among models. Some pass the center of circulation over the Lesser Antilles, while others have a more northwesterly track about 200 miles east of the Lesser Antilles. The reality is that there is still uncertainty about how close or far it will pass from the Northeast Caribbean. This is why we need to remain attentive to the forecast, especially until we have a tropical depression with a defined center of circulation. However, over the next 48 hours, all models agree that it will move completely westward. By late Thursday, the high pressure will begin to weaken, causing a more northwesterly movement. We need to see how far west it will move to determine how close it will pass to the Northeast Caribbean. Another crucial factor is the intensity of this system on Thursday. If it becomes a strong tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane, it will likely take a track away from the Caribbean. However, if it remains a tropical depression or weak tropical storm, it may maintain a more westward track and pose a greater threat to the northern Lesser Antilles. This means that the uncertainty in the track is directly related to the uncertainty in intensity. Some models have it as a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane, while others maintain it as a tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane. Let's look at the latest projections from the best global models. Starting with the GFS model, you can see that it has Tropical Storm Tammy developing early Thursday and maintaining a westward track at least until late Thursday night. In fact, the GFS model is quite aggressive in strengthening Tammy rapidly. In the latest runs, it has it becoming a hurricane during Thursday night or Friday morning. With a strong system, it takes a more northwesterly track and, in the last projection, passes about 250 to 300 miles east-northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Under this scenario, the local effects in the Caribbean would be minimal. It's important to note that in recent runs, the GFS model has shown a tendency to bring this future cyclone closer to the Northeast Caribbean. We need to remain vigilant for any additional changes in this forecast. On the other hand, the European model has a very different forecast. It keeps Invest 94 quite weak. In fact, in its latest run, it doesn't even develop a tropical depression and passes this system over the Northeast Caribbean as a tropical wave. There's definitely a significant difference between what the European model predicts and what the GFS model suggests. What we do know is that one of these two models has a completely erroneous forecast, and we will learn which one in the coming days. It's important to mention that, like the GFS model, the European model has been fairly consistent with its forecast. This time, it keeps Invest 94 very weak. Other European models, like the UKMIT model, also have a tropical wave crossing over Puerto Rico during the weekend. The German model, in its latest run, has a tropical wave crossing over the Northeast Caribbean and very close to Puerto Rico during the upcoming weekend. European models, in general, agree that Invest 94 will remain very weak as it crosses the Northeast Caribbean. The Canadian model concurs with the GFS model's forecast but with a track much closer to the Lesser Antilles. It develops a strong tropical storm and moves it on a more northwesterly path over the weekend, passing very close to the islands north of the Lesser Antilles. In summary, the two scenarios we are analyzing right now are, 1, as projected by European models, with a westward track due to the system's weakness as it crosses the region, and the other, as predicted by American models, with a projection of a much stronger system taking a track that is very close to or northeast of the northern Lesser Antilles. In any case, it seems that a stronger system will likely take a path just east of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, while if it remains a tropical wave or a tropical depression, it could pass over the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. At least in both scenarios, the most active part of this system seems to remain over the Atlantic waters. 
However, we should not let our guard down because any shift westward in the track could pose a greater risk. I wanted to show you the ensemble members of the GFS model. You can see that all members are very aggressive in strengthening Invest 94 or the future Tropical Storm Tammy. Most of them have a hurricane passing just east and northeast of the Lesser Antilles in about 4-5 to five days. Meanwhile, the ensemble members of the European model, the majority of them, only show a weak tropical depression or a weak tropical storm moving a bit more westward. In the latest projection, it crosses over the northern Lesser Antilles but stays far from Puerto Rico. There is definitely a significant difference between the two best global models. We need to keep an eye on how much Invest 94 strengthens over the next 72 hours. Although the local effects will depend on the final track of Invest 94, I wanted to mention that, according to the American models, the heaviest rainfall would remain over the Atlantic waters. However, according to the European model scenarios, a fairly rainy weekend is expected for the northern half of the Lesser Antilles with accumulations of 2 to 4 inches. Also, it appears that even if the center of circulation passes close to the region, the most active part would remain over the Atlantic waters and the northern Lesser Antilles. At the moment, it seems that Puerto Rico would not receive much rain associated with this disturbance, at least until the weekend. In my opinion, the forecast is that Invest 94 is expected to become a tropical storm, possibly reaching Category 1 hurricane status and passing very close to or over the northern Lesser Antilles. At the moment, it appears to remain east and northeast of Puerto Rico. However, this forecast is subject to changes, especially depending on how long it takes to consolidate and whether it intensifies. The weaker and more westward it moves, the greater the long-term risk for Puerto Rico and the northern Lesser Antilles. It's important to stay attentive but calm. At the moment, there is no imminent risk to the eastern and northeastern Caribbean. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to keep you informed. To stay updated, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red button below the video that says subscribe. Then, click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. I hope you all have an excellent night, and I will update this forecast tomorrow. See you then.